Hello guys, thank you for joining me and this is Marilyn Gale. Listen guys, uh, this is the um, HelloFresh delivery, uh, home delivery meals. And today I am going to fix salmon in a creamy Dijon chive sauce with roasted potato wedges and lemony zucchini. Okay, now we've had salmon dishes, but you guys with different sauces, adding different flavors, and we have different sides that I use. Now we're gonna have the zucchini. I love zucchini. I love zucchini. And I had potatoes the other day, but I'm gonna go on and fix them because I'll, you know, I'll um, use another meal to kind of have less calories because this one is 750 calories. 35 minutes to cook and prep time is 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do, I've already done, is washed and towel dry my zucchini and my potatoes. And with the potato, in, in this packet, because it come in a paper bag, it came with also the sour cream, we have two packages for that. Um, uh, this is a like a veggie um, stock concentrate that we're going to use the sauce. Came with one. We have chives, and I'm going to chop those up. We also have Dijon mustard in the pack. And of course, here is the uh, the salmon. So let me prep all this together. This is quick and easy, guys. It just takes longer when I'm explaining things. And I'm not trying to say you guys don't cook. Because I've seen some of you guys throw down. That's not the point. Um, it's always new ways to do things. Different ways to do things. And also for the new cooks. You know, this is a way that they can learn more uh, without buying a cookbook. You know, cookbooks are fine. I use them myself, but these are, uh, this is going to be a healthy dish. Um, the potatoes in moderation, moderation, everything in moderation, you know, just don't, you know. It comes with those potatoes and I won't eat all this in one setting for sure. So let's get you started. I'm going to cut this lengthwise and then um, chop it up not chop it up but slice it and I'm going to make wedges out of the potatoes so I'll be right back okay guys what I did is I sliced the zucchini lengthwise and then I cut it in half and then the potatoes I quartered uh, into wedges what I forgot to mention the lemon guys I zest the lemon and how you zest it, I use one of these. And then I just take the lemon and do that on a plate. Uh, I'm going to get another vester because that zest got little holes. And I got to take a toothpick and try to get the majority of the zest out. If I had a little bit bigger hole, then it wouldn't stick so much. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, with the potatoes, I'm going to take some olive oil and I have organic um, extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to drizzle it over the potatoes. That sound you hear is the oven fan, well it's over the oven. I'm pretty heating the oven and I should have done this earlier but I didn't want to hear the fan um, to 450. Before that I put the rack on the top or the second from the top the rack uh, of the oven because although it's 450 if you put it on the top it won't cook as fast. I put pepper on my potatoes 
and then I put salt. And what I'm going to do with clean hands, I'm going to just incorporate the potatoes. I'm gonna cook these potatoes for 10 minutes, then I'm gonna take them out of the oven and put my zucchini on. So the zucchini won't be all burnt out and dry. We're going to uh, put them in after we bake the potatoes 10 minutes. Okay guys, so what I did is I took half of the lemon. Okay, it's ready to go in this oven. I took half of the lemon and I juiced it. And uh, what else did I do? My potatoes are ready to go in the oven. And uh, let's do that now. Okay guys. Oven is still on. The potatoes was in the oven on the top shelf for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to put the zucchini on the other side of the potatoes. And I'm going to let it cook for another 12 to 15 minutes. I'm going to check it at 12 minutes. I'm going to make sure the zucchini is one layer. I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put it back in the oven. Okay, so what I did is I patted my uh, salmon dry with a paper towel. I put salt and pepper on it. I'm, I'm even going to season. Some people do and some don't. The back of it. What I like to do is just rub gently my seasoning into my salmon. Wash my hands. I didn't want the salmon all over my camera. Okay, it's beginning to melt, but let me tell you what I did. I put a tablespoon of olive oil in a non-stick stick pan and a tablespoon of butter. Now you can use the butter substitute if you want, because sometimes I'll put the butter, plant-based butter, but this time I have butter in the pan so I'm just waiting for that pan to get hot and although this is supposed to be for two days for me two servings I'm going to cook my salmon both together okay guys what I'm going to do is I am going to put the skin side to the skillet and wait for that to be crisp about five to seven minutes and then we're going to flip it over and do an additional one to two minutes okay guys I just want to show you that the salmon is cooking nicely I have that olive oil in there. I have that butter. It's going to have a buttery, nutty kind of taste. Um, and you guys will know what I'm talking about when you dig in. But look, it is, it is cooking nicely. Guys, I wish you could smell this. Oh, that smells good. I have those potatoes in the oven. I have the zucchini in the oven. It's going to be in the oven for another three minutes. I have the um, the salmon cooking. And then after this, what I'm going to do is I am going to um, wipe out the pan, get rid of that excess oil and butter. I'm going to wipe it out. I'm going to use the same pan. Don't have to wash it. Don't have to wash the pan. Just wipe it out. 
and then I'm going to make my sauce. And guys, like I said before, you can make salmon and other dishes, but you can change up the sauce and you, and it's like you have a brand new recipe, you know, a brand new, a, a different taste. Sometimes the sauce is everything. If you guys had ever watched Chopped, where they get a basket and the, and the chefs from different parts of the country would make a, a meal, an appetizer, bread, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, and mostly I'm speaking about dinner. If you watch Chopped, a lot of times what they will do to make the, the dish stand out the protein, the steak, the, the the chicken, the fish stand out, they'll use a good sauce. So guys, let that cook for a little bit longer. We're gonna flip it for another two minutes. Okay guys, so that cooked another four minutes. I didn't want it to cook an additional three. It looks fine to me. It looks good. What I did is that lemon zest that I had, I sprinkled that over the zucchini and I tossed it. And look how nice the potatoes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look how nice the potatoes look. That is just going to be a great vegetable dish. So, just, if it sticks a little bit, just take the edge of your spatula and just push it and it'll come off because what I did is I lined my baking um, my my, uh, my pan I lined it with oil and then remember I put the olive oil on everything so it'll just slide off if it's sticking a little bit so I'm setting that aside and I'm going to tend to my salmon Okay guys, I drained that excess oil. I'm just gonna wipe that out. So what I'm going to do, um, I am going to add the stock concentrate, that vegetable, and I'm going to add half of the mustard and, and the juice from half of the lemon. Okay, here's the juice, the, the juice, the stock. And I'll put that on low for right now. And here's the packet of mustard. So I'm going to add that. To the vegetable stock. Then I'm going to put a fourth of a cup of water. And I'm just going to stir that up a little bit. And I'm going to put the juice of a half a lemon. It's a little pulp in there, it's okay. Then what I'm going to do is take it off the heat. Okay, right now what I'm doing is putting both the package of sour cream in that mixture, and I'm going to stir it. It's off, it's off the heat. And I'm going to put half of the chives that we chopped up. I'm going to stir that around. And if I need, if it's too thick, guys, I'm going to add a teaspoon at a time of water.
right now. I'm going to wait. I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter. Actually, I'm going to put one tablespoon of butter. And that's going to go, guys, that's, that's going to go on top of the salmon. That's going to be good. So what I get, did guys is I'm going to add a little bit of water because it's a little bit thick because I want it to drizzle, not clump down. So the little container that I had the lemon juice, I just put a little bit more water, swished it around so that water would have that lemon flavor. And a little bit at a time. going to incorporate it okay that's a good drift that's a good drizzle and guys when I took it off the heat that's okay you put the butter in there but the skillet is still going to be hot so that's going to melt the butter and incorporate the flavors so now guys I am going to plate it mm -mm -mm, I can't wait because I'm hungry Okay guys, let's, let's play. So, I am going to, I'm going to get my potatoes. This is for two servings guys. Now I'm going to plate and put on my zucchini. No guys. I could eat that whole zucchini, but I'll try not to be a greedy gut. That's all the potatoes I want. Then what I'm going to do is pour, not pour, but drizzle. It could be a little thinner, but you know what guys, I'm going to leave it at ease. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. And you know what, guys? It's not going to be like the pitcher because they loaded those potatoes on. And uh, I don't want all them potatoes. So let's let's move this on over so it'll be pretty. It won't be all that gap. And because I might want to dip some of my... Salmon and sauce, let's put a little bit of that on the side. Okay, there. And then we take this uh, spoon and just glide it across. You know, like them chefs do on, on chopped. And guys, that is my salmon in a creamy Dijon chive sauce with roasted potato wedges and lemon zucchini. Guys, you can even dip that um, potato in that sauce if you want. But I want to taste this. Well, let me take a, a thumbnail before I start eating. Okay, now I want to see. I 
because our skin is going to be crispy. But it's tender, guys. I, I, you could use a knife, but I didn't. So I want to see how that tastes. That is so good, guys. I love it. I'm going to dip on my, my potato in that chai sauce. So good. Guys, that's good. And if you um, are a vegetarian, just make the potatoes and the, and the uh, zucchini and use whatever substitute you use for the meat or just leave it as is. I can taste a little bit of that zest on the zucchini. Mm. Guys, this is very delicious. So, car so far, I am liking HelloFresh. So thank you for joining me, guys. I appreciate it. I have a couple of other meals. I'll probably throw into my own creations after I finish with HelloFresh because I'm only going to order twice a month so far. So I'll see you next time. Guys, be careful and be blessed and have a good evening.